Hello and welcome back to some more of EVE Online with me, the Green Dragon. Okay, so let us launch our thingy and uh, yeah, our target got away. He had a guild friend, possibly with a powerful ship in the next system over, so uh, we're not gonna be going after that little noobot anymore. I wish I could, I really do wish I could, but whoa. Well, that's different. Okay, so the star systems then align in a weird way. Okay, well, we're gonna take a closer look at all the statistics in a moment, but those systems are relatively quiet, so we're gonna go to those first. What we want to do is refit with our warp core stabilizers and the like, so that we are back in exploration mode because you know exploration yay okay wait I can store stuff in here oh cool nice fitting service uh, yes just use the fitting service thank you no, not in there, in here. Just stored in here. So, core stabilizers, yes, thank you. Pull this off. Okay, data, analyzer, yes, and what that? Scan, rangefinders, right, that's what I had here, sure. Okay, scoop into cargo hold and let's move on. You know, I came very close to that bloody Astero of his while he was doing whatever uncloaked, but those guys coming through the system at that time, I was worried. It looked like a trap and um, I didn't go for it. And, you know, I'm glad I didn't, because if it was a trap, I would have been screwed. Even though I did miss possibly a very valuable kill, still, I kind of think that's okay in this case. I kind of think that that's okay. So yeah, that happened, but oh well, shit happens. Now, let's jump through and see what's on the other side of this wondrous gate. Oh, he's... Oh, you fucker. I just... I really want him dead now. And I just refitted too. Okay. One signature. I'm certainly gonna pew-pew him if it turns out that... You know, if he competes for my signature, because it's mine, and he can't fracking have it, because it, it's mine. And analyze. Now I'm not fitted for pew pews right now, unfortunately, but you know, I would still love to smoke him. I really, really would. How are my resistance, by the way? Ah, 54, 55, pretty decent. And the scan strength is pretty weak on this. Let's not get our hopes up, but one can hope. Maybe this time. And there's nobody else in the system too. At the moment, mind you, at the moment. Oh. If he decloaks, I want to scare him shitless. Oh. I see. So you have one of these as well, you fucker. Of course you do. We might want to move to that other Nullsec wormhole because this bastard is gonna compete for our stuff with us. And that is really uncool of him. You just wait, this is gonna turn out to be a sleeper cache and it's gonna really suck for us because reasons. Because, you know...
it might make a huge difference as to who gets to it first so we're gonna work within a hundred of that just to make sure that we are closer to the target when we start to warp I mean he surely can scan down possibly faster than us because this looks like a tough one god damn it you bastard and that's the thing he must have had that strategos pretty damn close so even if I had managed to smoke him just wait this is gonna be a sleeper cache it's totally gonna be a sleeper cache now that it would be pretty damn troublesome for me to actually claim it okay so that's a Amar control tower standard sleeper cache so it's a standard one okay damn it of all the bloody times this could have he might already be inside it he might have already known that it was there scanned it down with the astero and then come back to actually run it with if that's the case that sucks donkey balls like really crap I mean why would he go back for an astero of course he must know well let's go and check it out Let's go and fracking check it out. Yep. He must be in there doing bad, bad things. Can no doubt he no doubt has very good stuff on him as well, so I won't be able to actually hurt him very much either. So I get very, very lucky. You are just now hacking it. You bastard. Okay, if he gets smoked in there, which he might. Crap. He can be fitted for PvP in that thing. I mean, he's still gonna have guns on it. But, really... Okay. God damn it. I'm gonna go in there and watch what he's gonna do. Stupid though that may be, I'm gonna go in there and see what's going on because... Fuck, I've been looking for these. I want my cloak to be ready to reset though. Might as well reload my probes. Give him enough... Are you from the same bloody guild? Of course you fucking are. You're gonna actually go and help him. Okay, that's a lot of people. Warp to the star, warp to the warp star. Uh, save location, yes and go and cloak suddenly every one of his fracking guildmen there's no way they must be trying to run the site together I there's just no way fuck god damn it Warp drive active. Well, sometimes you just have to accept the fact that you can't do anything about it. So we're gonna leave. Don't really have a choice. If I had managed to smoke that bastard when I had a chance, he wouldn't have been able to scan it down and maybe I would have gotten to it first or something, I don't know. This one is clearly not going to be ours, unfortunately. 
And there's nothing I can do about it. Much as I might wish otherwise. There's really nothing more I can do about it. So, gate camp to top it off? No? Okay. Okay, good. Hey, maybe there's another one right in this system, right? Shit. What rotten bad luck. What rotten fracking bad luck. God damn it. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. It's a combat site and that's useless. This is probably something equally useless. Let's see. Well, it's clearly not gonna be a sleeper site. That's for sure. All we have is crap from crappy data sites and lots of wasted time. God damn it. You know, that really stings. I've been preparing for running one of these. Training up my strategies, getting the right equipment. You know, reading about those sites online. Ever since I first ran into one. And now I have to walk on by because it's full of death. It's unfortunately full of death. And bad, bad things. Fuck. Talk about crap. It's another stinking data site. You know what? Screw you, data site. I'm really, really not gonna bother. I'm gonna scan you down, but I'm not gonna bother actually running you, because screw you. Well, crap. That's about the only thing I can think of. Yeah, another Blood Raider survey site completely utterly useless. God damn it. Of all the rotten luck, if I had gotten there like five minutes faster, if I hadn't chased him, if. Crap! Fuck! Of all the. Rotten, stupid luck. That just blows so hard. At least be a relic site. Please just give me one decent relic site at the very least. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Okay, it's, it is a relic site. Let's hope it isn't already claimed by someone. Please don't be claimed. That would kind of suck too. <laughs> Damn it. Losing out like that, that's... That just stings so much. Okay, Blood Raider, Monument Warp within 10. Recover Warp active nice. probes. And... Let's see. What, pray tell, are you? Okay. Right, Russian doesn't seem to be anything of particular interest. Okay. Directional scan then. What do we have here? Just some control towers, namely star bases. Alrighty. And we're dropping out the warp in right now. Okay. Anyone nearby? Doesn't look like it. Well, it looks as safe as it's ever gonna be. And it's far enough, those are far enough from the warp pinpoint that I can actually go to them and hack them relatively safely if someone new warps in. Unless they warp in cloaked and try to ambush my dumb noob ass, but oh well. And unless this guy here is waiting in 
this site cloaked for someone to do something stupid like start hacking one of the containers and then die horribly. Of course. Point is that otherwise we could still get screwed royally. Missing out on a sleeper cache though. Just... Ouch. That's just... Epically, epically bad. Now I'm gonna start to hack this. There is the possibility that some asshole is gonna decloak and attack the moment I do that. But... We'll see, won't we? Come on, just get in there. Just... Goddamn, get in there. Okay. Ready to warp out? Anyone? It doesn't look like anyone's trying to fuck us from behind just yet. So that's alright. Okay, little Frenchy boy. There. And a yellow core. Perfectly reasonable. And... Fuck you, game. Fuck you. You are really... Really shoving it in there today, aren't you? Okay. Well, at least we've gotten something out of this. I... A couple of days back had a run through nullsec with of like 12 systems, right? I scanned through 12 systems. I get like 12 mil for that, which was not really ridiculous. Let's kill that one. Just cause fuck you and your stupid fracking firewalls. And again, frack your firewalls. Seriously? Like, really, you're gonna be like that? What's in here? What's in here? Okay, shieldy. Ow. And that's not even the bloody core, is it? And it's an antivirus and we're dead. Well, that sucks. No one owns the scopes. That's mildly good, I suppose. Yeah, this area of Nalsek has not been particularly kind to me. I think I will scan one more system and then I might just move on. Two greener pastures, hopefully. Okay. God damn it, I always seem to be clicking the wrong bloody thing right now. I said attack it with the alternate virus vector thingy. Wrenchy, great. Well, there are worse things. Can I kill this? Yes, I can, but I might be unable to kill the... Okay. Still not enough. And this explodes now. Great. Fun talk. I hope you enjoyed it too. Felt that it was a very productive game. Very much so. And this is an easy hack, so... Of course, all the... This isn't gonna have any good stuff in it. Obviously. Peanuts. All I'm getting is peanuts. I'm not a fracking monkey. I don't want bloody peanuts. Okay. Please be good and please don't screw me. I'm also failing a lot of hacks today for whatever reason. It's really just... Badness all around. I am gonna go buy that sleeper cache because I did save its location on my way back to see if perhaps they have failed miserably in whatever way and maybe I can 
pick up after them, s get something out of it. I doubt it. Those sites despawn in a weird way, but... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Just in case, right? Fuck, it's a green hack, of course. Small container, that generally means... Oh great, a target spectrum analyzer blueprint. Whatever would I do without it? FYI, those are worthless. Okay. Let me show you why. Show an industry. Expense is 336,000, right? Value. <laughs> 12,000. That's why. That's why they suck. The one good container I actually managed to freaking fail. Typical. Well, this is a yellow at least. It's something. Definitely a yellow. Okay, so here, here. Yep. Definitely a yellow. Great! Okay. Good talk. Next system. Warp drive active. God damn it. That really sucks. Swooping in with his guild buddies like that, or corporation buddies rather, that, that blows so much. I mean, that just sucks so much. I mean, really. Just bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, what do we have here? Two sites. Two potential sites, rather. Okay, deploy probes, engage cloak. Let's get down to it, shall we? Let's get down to it. Okay, expand. Tell me what you are. Impress me, please. Impress me, please. Okay. Probably not anything particularly valuable. Wormhole, probably. That or crappy data site. Okay. Just scan. Yes, yes. We're all waiting. Yes. It's a relic site. Okay, that is mildly less sucky, admittedly. Hopefully we can actually get something out of this relic site. Okay, that's good. And I wonder what the other one is. I really do wonder. Blood Raider Monument Site. Ooh, fancy. Okay, now what are you? Actually finding a sleeper cache and... Oh, so salty. That blows so like so hard. This I think is already too strong a signal for it to be another sleeper site though. I mean it might be but it it isn't. It really isn't. It would be awesome if it was, but it isn't. Okay, nine point eight at four, that's forty at one. Yeah, the strength about doubles every time you go down by a range increment. So that's general guideline. So we can get at least 20 at 2, at least 40 at 1, and so on. It's another relic site, though. Well, that's mildly better. Let's scan it down, then I'm gonna end the video and take a minuscule break and then I'm gonna s actually go in them and uh, grab whatever is there. Okay, yes, yes. 
50. Impress me, please. Of course, you get more than just the minimum amount you would get, because you also get... You also place your probes closer and closer to the actual thing by, you know, constantly adjusting to where it is. Okay, anyway, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in a second.